Hello, nice to meet you again and welcome to Kenta News of Kenta Radio and Television Station. Has last today. Kenta City People's Committee has just issued a decision to establish a center for conducting all the measures of COVID-19 epidemic prevention and control. There are still some cases of finding many unjustifiable reasons to go out for a personal process limiting the effectiveness of the social distancing phase in the prevention control of COVID-19 epidemic in the city. Top news, Kentucky City People's Committee has just issued a decision to establish a center for conducting urgent measures of COVID-19 epidemic prevention control in Kentucky City area. Chief of the center is the chairman of Kentucky City People's Committee, Trung Vi Jun. The above center will be responsible for 24 for 24 located at Kentucky City People's Committee No. 2, Harbin Boulevard, Tengang Ward, Ninkyo District. The center starts in code, command and administer the implementation of the plan to implement urgent measures to prevent and control the COVID-19 epidemic in the area, decide or report, seek advice, some barriers on the application of special measures as prescribed by law and necessary measures in the case of epidemic beyond the capacity of the city, or in emergency situations, immediately report to suburbs to mobilize forces, means and materials to support local forces in order to soon stabilize the situation, lead the right and coordinate the activities of the affiliated groups, perform all the tasks assigned by the Secretary of the City Party Committee and the Chairman of the City People's Committee. Mr. Trung Vuk Trung, Chief of the Center for Conducting Urgent Measures of COVID-19 Epidemic Prevention Control, also has a decision to file a community rapid test sample team of COVID-19 in the city area. Accordingly, the Steering Committee for COVID-19 Epidemic Prevention Control of Kenta City filed 320 teams for COVID-19 tests. Each COVID-19 testing team has at least six participants, of which four members are human resources of Kenta University of Medicine and Pharmacy, Kenta Medical College. Two members are officials of the commune, Ward and Tau, where sampling is performed with the task of taking samples and rapid testing for COVID-19 in the community. In addition, a need to coordinate with district health centers to provide information to input data to manage people coming to take samples for testing. Transport the test samples for the case of rapid tests being positive for SARS-CoV-2 to the unit competence for confirmation testing according to the regulations. At the same time, summarized a report on implementation results to the city's student committee for COVID-19 prevention control. On August 7, Thalai District has proposed the home population test and inject vaccine against COVID-19. To implement the campaign, Thalai District established 22 teams, mobilized 160 students of Kentucky Medical College and district officers to take part in rapid test sampling. Accordingly, there are 39 clusters. Each commune has three clusters, ensuring 100% persons are tested. The Lai District is determined to take advantage of the nine peak days of the campaign to screen more than 92,000 people at 18 and over. The assembling process always ensures the 5K principle of the Ministry of Health, ensures security, order, and social safety. Vietnam Federal Front Committee in Thung Hưng World Thung Rok District has organized a gratitude trip to give 300 gifts to poor and disadvantaged households in the area more to follow. Each gift worth 250,000 dong, including 10 kilograms of rice, instant noodles, honored necessities, and vegetables, was delivered by the front and local functional branches to poor families, those who have difficult circumstances, and at the same time encourage people to do well in epidemic prevention control in the days of social distancing. The total funding for this activity is more than 17 million dong from the source of socialization of sponsors. The Red Cross Society of Futu World Grand District Kenta City is also mentioning the operation of the Zero Dong Market in Fukan area. The Zero Dong Market coordinated by the Red Cross Society of Futu World from July 15 to present. The officials of the area and the World Red Cross 
will provide people in the area and surrounding areas from 300 to 600 kilograms of vegetables and fruits of all kinds. Total world cost from 4 to 6 million dong, supported by sponsors and benefactors inside outside the area. Moving on the other news, petroleum stores are also places where many people gather. Therefore, the epidemic prevention is being concerned by functional sectors in the city. To ensure safety in this activity, many patrol stations around the combination of COVID-19 testing and strictly adhere to the 5K principle. Some stores also use baskets to receive money and chain money. Employees don't take money directly from customers. Taking this activity, the police of the world and towns remind the South Coast to strictly wear masks, wash their hands and disinfect when taking money and always pay attention to the way, ensure the regulations on fire fighting prevention control. According to the Steering Committee for COVID-19 Prevention Control of Kansas City, in the past few days, there are still some cases of finding many unjustifiable reasons to go out for personal purposes, limiting the effectiveness of the social distancing phase in the prevention control of COVID-19 epidemic in the city. In order to tighten discipline and raise people's awareness of strictly observing regulations on August 6, the city's functional forces strengthened, patrolled, controlled, and detected, and sanctioned 151 cases of individuals violating regulations on epidemic prevention and control, with the fire of more than $296 million. Up to now, the functional forces have sanctioned 5,857 cases of violations, with a total fine of more than 12.8 billion dong. Amid the complicated developments of COVID-19 pandemic, Kansas City has called upon the participation of the community in the fight against COVID-19 enemy. In response to the call, doctors, nurses who had retired in Kansas City exactly engaged in the fight against the pandemic. At the age of 60, retired nurse Huân Thị Đức continues taking part in the fight against the pandemic in her residence. With 30 years' experience of a laboratory technician at the military hospital 121, Ms. Duc volunteers to join the COVID-19 community group of Long Hoa World. Every day, she comes to households of the world to publicize about implementing the 5K rule, catching information on residents of people from other places, and instruct them to make medical declarations for timely quarantine. Taking part in the local medical folks brings me the feeling that I'm still healthy. I'm in charge of giving health consultation for local people, and I feel that I can still do a good job of a medical worker. Not until my health won't give me permissions does I quit this job. Like nurse Huân Thị Đức, Huân Thị Thu Hương also has 30 years experience as a nurse at the internal medicine department of the 30 Hospital and then Kansas City General Hospital. She retired at a time when the epidemic sucks, so she volunteered to join the local pandemic prevention and control force. I joined the local medical folks with the thought that we will help fight back COVID-19 pandemic. Like at the world's up and Thuy up the street, there are five physicians in the world who take part in the COVID-19 pandemic prevention and control task after retiring from their work as physicians in the medical center. At the age of around 60, the enthusiasm of white blouse soldiers are still there. Experience of retired medical workers is the strength that helps them mobilize locals to effectively prevent the spread of the epidemic. From then, local people are highly aware of preventive measures to fight against the epidemic. The folks of retired medical workers gives much contribution to local medical folks in the pandemic prevention and control and public health as a whole. Particularly, they give effective assistance in tracing, zoning and isolating infected cases. 
from early morning to late afternoon every day, retired white blouse soldiers give assistance in SARS-CoV-2 virus tests for residents in lockdown areas, instruct people to make medical declarations on the law or to install QR codes, publicize the observance of 5K rule, and accommodate public security force to go to each of houses and residents. Not benefiting any policies or subsidies, medical ethics of white cloud soldiers is above all in the epidemic prevention and control front with the hope of exerting efforts to fight back the pandemic to bring life into normal. Retired medical workers work very hard. They spare no efforts, go to each of houses to carefully instruct locals to observe epidemic control measures from then contributing to helping the locality prevent the spread of the pandemic. Services rendered by retired medical workers are so that will get stronger as age gets older. Their services actively contribute to the local task of epidemic prevention and control. It's the bright example for young generation to follow. Coming up next, the weather forecast. That's all for Gunter News of Gunter Radio and Television Station. You can search this bulletin on GunterTV.vn. Thanks so much for your attention. Bye for now.